It was really interesting to hear Kirk Herbstreit the other day say that our postseason, in other words, college football's postseason, is the worst in sports because it's so predictable. And he said there needs to be change here because we know the same exact teams are going to be there every single year. What do you think about that comment, and what do you think about the future of college football being led by the same giants every year? Well, I, I, I think overall, I've never been a fan of the playoff. You know, from, from the very beginning when you and I met, we talked about that. And the reason is, is that it, it makes, A, just a focus on four teams and two games at the end of the year, and then, of course, the title game. And it nixes teams based on the narratives, right? And I live that every year. Right when Washington played Auburn or Oregon played Auburn, if they lost, the whole conference was out. But that's not right for the game, right? In my opinion, that's not what college football is about. Um, in the same vein, if you're going to make it about the four best teams, um, and period, right? And that's pretty much what the CFP is asked to do. It's an easy argument to say, well, yeah, Alabama and Clemson and Ohio State, and you know, you can rotate the fourth one if you want between a few different teams they're always going to be in the conversation of the best teams when they have about a month off to repair. I believe that it should be about the totality of the season. And the problem to me I see is that it's never about that in, uh, in, unit, in unity. You know, when you look at everybody in that room, some think it's about the totality of the season. Some it's about what have you done for me uh, lately. Some it's like what did you do all season long until your final loss in a title game, right? Look, look at Notre Dame this season. Uh, I think that that part is um, it's really hurtful to the game. So to me, the, the easy fix is expansion. Everybody knows it's going to happen. Talk to anybody that's got juice in college football, and they know it's going to happen. They just have to wait till the contract runs out. And to me, that is uh, an immature move. And this year, the CFP committee uh, and the powers that be, I'm sure ESPN and all the people that have all the money involved, and look, I, I respect everybody lost a lot this year due to the pandemic, but there was an opportunity to expand, knowing and understanding that it's so different across the board dealing with Corona. Right? This could have been a mulligan year to even test it out and give a team like Cincinnati or give a Pac-12 champ or give you know, somebody from the Big 12 and get a, every Power 5 in and expand it as though we would imagine. Because you're right. Because what's it becoming? It's a prediction of, let's look at signing day in December and February. Who are the top four to six classes? You can go back three, four years. These are the teams that the narrative is set around them on signing day. They got the best players in the country, and then it's set all spring, and then it's set in preseason rankings. This year, even more so, when the Big Ten and the Pac-12 weren't even in the first six weeks or so of the rankings due to not playing. And the narrative is already locked in. It was already locked in. And, and I just net out with the basic fundamental truth of, in all of sports in my entire life, and, I, and I'd imagine you'd agree, if you lose your last game, you don't advance. This is the one sport where that is not true in a single elimination environment. This is not true, and I think that is a slap in the face to sport because our entire lives were taught win and keep going, lose and go home. And in this sport, that's not always the case because of a lot of the narratives or the realities of these teams. But what happened to the reality of playing? And I think that is what kind of gets lost, and I'm with Herb Street on that. Uh, I don't know what the ratings were last night, but I'd imagine they were down just based on what I saw in the semifinals.